Hey! Right, today we're going to be talking about the power of reactions. No! Yeah, afraid so, Luke. So, have you ever wondered why reaction videos are so popular and really entertaining to watch? <laughs> Well, reactions have actually been a really integral part of filmmaking since the very early days of cinema, and they're a really powerful storytelling tool. And in reality, reactions are a very normal part of life. They help us to socialise with people, they help us to learn things about people, and they can also help us to sort of read certain situations and help us make decisions on how we should behave in the future. Think about it. If you're talking to somebody and you're telling something that you think is great, and while you're talking, they start to frown or seem a bit disinterested, you're gonna naturally feel uncomfortable. I feel fine. Or let's say you tell a joke, you're hoping for a laugh, which obviously is a reaction. But what if they don't laugh? Or even worse, what if they feel a little offended by what you've said? You're naturally gonna feel awkward and the tone is gonna change, but you've also learned something about their character and you probably won't say that kind of thing in the future. This exact same principle applies when watching a movie, TV show, or any video for that matter. By seeing a person's reaction to something, it can add extra weight to what has happened, and it can reveal a lot about the character, and it can also set the tone for what's to come in the story. Let's take a look at a few examples. First, we have this scene from Pulp Fiction, just look at the absolute terror and panic on Brett's face when his mate gets unexpectedly shot. Now imagine how different that scene would be if Brett didn't care less and instead he just stared at Jules without blinking. It would make his character completely different, it would change the tone of the scene, but the fact that he's absolutely petrified also makes us a bit scared as a viewer and it really makes Jules' character even more menacing. Then we have this scene from 300. No words are spoken and there is just an exchange of reactions which leads directly to Leonidas's next action. This is Sparta! Now let's take a look at the infamous red wedding scenes from Game of Thrones. Now, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it yet. Where have you been? But secondly, there will be spoilers, so please skip ahead if you don't want the plot room for you. And don't worry, we won't show the most graphic parts. No way! So the doors lock, the music starts playing, and straight away we go to Catelyn Stark's reaction shot. And we can see by the expression on her face that something just isn't right. And that sets the scene for what's to come, making us feel really uneasy as a viewer. Right, now let's skip ahead. Pretty much all the Starks are dead apart from Catelyn and her son Rob, so she goes to grab Walder Frey's wife to try and threaten him. Now, just watch his reaction and think about what it tells you about him as a character, and then watch Catelyn's reaction to what happens next. Let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. I'll find another. Mother. The Lannisters send their regards. still gets me even now. <laughs> Sorry to put you through that, but it's a perfect example of how reactions can add so much weight to the story. I mean, it's almost hard to describe, but to me, it feels like all of her life force just escapes her when her son gets killed and she lets out that exhausting cry. And what about World of Frey's reaction to that threat on his wife's life? Oh, I'll find another. I mean, it just shows you what a cold, cruel sociopath he really is. And as a viewer, that is the point where you really lose hope, just as Catelyn does. 
Right, let's move on from that. It was a bit heavy going, but hopefully you get the point I'm trying to make. Oh, I get it! So, we've seen our reactions can really add weight to drama, but it also has a great impact on comedy. When people react to things in a funny or unexpected way, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, alright mate, that was just a bit weird. But uh, you know what, I think I'm just going to let these next clips play and just take a look at how funny all of these moments are, and they're all reactions to something. He hates these cans! Stay away from the cans! You've got no arms left! Yes, I have! Look! It's just a flesh wound. Uh, uh, what the heck are you doing? One. No, Kelly Clarkson! Oh, oh, I hate you! I hate you! Stop smiling, you jerk! Hey, Phil Connors! Man! So, what have we learned? We've learned that reactions can add weight to a scene or story, they can add depth to the characters, they can set a mood for the scene, they can allow characters to communicate without actually talking, and they work really well in comedy. And here's a bonus one for you. You can actually insert random reaction shots into a video to spice it up a little bit or make it funnier, just like I did in this video. <sighs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it'll help you think about how to use reactions in any future videos you make. And if you want to see more videos like this one, give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.